pie chart of football players. But I don't even watch football. Hi, I'm Matt and this is No Enough Seconds. Uh, if you follow um, Tasker, you probably know that Auto Tools comes out with a new features including graphs and pie charts and I wanted to take a closer look at pie charts and actually present you with a little bit more useful tutorial than top scorers during the World Cup that already ended. So what I've got in here is a profile already made and what it does it basically when I press the button it displays a pie chart showing me my connectivity. So it shows me the time in well in this case in percentage but it shows me how long I've been connected to particular um, SSIDs. Uh, what's good about it is that it will gather information about new SSIDs to I've connected to and it will update the existing values. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the pie chart. It's not that complicated however processing the data to a pie chart might be a little bit more complicated and uh, we're gonna learn how to search arrays for the values, how to update the values, and how to add new values if the, these values are not in the pie chart. So for example, if we have a situation when we've been to like three locations with three different Wi-Fi's, uh, there is a fourth Wi-Fi, it will be automatically added to that pie chart as well. So I guess uh, that's enough for the in introduction and uh, let's get started. As you can see, I've linked the task uh, of drawing the chart into um, the shortcut, which is placed on the home screen. So when I press this, it will give me some values. Now the values right now are 69.5 to 30, depending on which SSID I'm connected to. So let's close the chart and let's disconnect from the network and it will update these values as well, because I've been connected for some time. So it should uh, finish updating right now. And when I draw another pie chart, the value is going to be slightly different. I've got 71.9 uh, to 78.9, to 78.9. So uh, you get the point. Um, also, uh, if you have uh, any new SSIDs you connected to, uh, that pie chart will be updated with any new entries so you don't have to pre-select anything or pre-enter the SSIDs it's all handled automatically and that's what I'm going to show you because drawing the pie chart alone is very simple but processing the data um, that is actually going into the chart itself might be a little bit more complicated so let's open the task and see what's going on so in a task you'll notice I've got draw and uh, graph and basically this is the web screen uh, which has a pie chart uh, preset so you can uh, download the preset uh, from ready-made presets and the two most important things are in slices and then names this is where your SSIDs goes and in my uh, setup I'm just using array which is graph Wi-Fi array and in numbers I have another array which is graph timing array so these array, arrays aren't created just yet and to make it valid we're just going to create the arrays. So I'm jumping to a temporary task. So this is only to be done once and run once. I'm just going to set array and set the values to zero. Uh, once the arrays are created, just go to variable tab and you're gonna have graph timing one and graph Wi-Fi. We'll set at zero, just delete these entries and we can start working in Tasker. So I have a profile right now that monitors each time I'm being connected or disconnected from any Wi-Fi. Now, in order to capture that information, I've created this profile. And when I'm connected to Wi-Fi, uh, what I'm trying to do is get the information from the variable Wi-Fi information. So this is the built-in task variable. And I'm going to look just for the uh, Wi-Fi name, which you can accomplish by using this regex here and that will basically get you everything that is in double quotes from that information about the Wi-Fi. I'm going to store this in a temp Wi-Fi temporary or local variable and remember this is an array so actual match is going to be in temp uh, Wi-Fi 1 which is going to get assigned to uh, graph current Wi-Fi. So this is what's going to uh, store my information about the current SSID name. 
and it's only assigned if the 10.51 is set. So once I've got this, I need to uh, capture the time of when I've started to be connected to this variable. So I'm uh, creating a new variable, and this is graph current TS, so that's time start. And this is just time in seconds, and also again, it only gets set when the temp Wi-Fi 1 is set. So now we know that when we connect it to Wi-Fi, like this, uh, that's all going to happen, and we're going to have uh, our uh, information about current time and current uh, SSID. Now when we get disconnected, uh, what's going to happen is uh, we need to calculate how many seconds we've been connected to and we taking the start value of the time and we remove that start value from the current time in seconds and I'll give you a time in seconds that we've been con uh, connected to uh, that SSID. Just remember to select two maths and we're going to store it within graph current TE which is time and uh, once we have those two values uh, stored, we're going to assign them into um, variable par1, which gonna has uh, which gonna have our SSID, and part two, part two, which gonna have our time in seconds, and obviously that's only only happen when the SSID is set, and we're gonna perform a new task, and that task is graph calc times, so we're gonna calculate actual times and add them to an array. So let's go to the task, and this is the task we're going to perform. First of all, if um, one of them isn't set, we're just going to stop, just as a precaution. And we have two options here. Basically, uh, this check in here is going to check if in um, array, graph Wi-Fi array, we have already our SSID. So if you remember, SSID is stored as part one and we are checking if we have that SSID already in our var uh, in our array. If we have it, then exists equals more than zero. If we don't have it, exists equals zero. So it's a very easy way to determine what we're gonna do next. So if we don't have it, and the SSID, uh, sorry, the value of that uh, exists equals zero, what we're gonna do, we're gonna push both values, the par1 and par2, to um, our arrays. So uh, par1 is our SSID and we're pushing it to position one. If there was anything in that uh, one position, it's gonna be moved down to the second position. And the same in terms of time. So graph timing is our array, and we're pushing to first position value par2. Now that's what happens when we don't have SSID in a list. If we do have a SSID in a list, our value exists uh, equals to more than zero. So it can be one, two, three, whatever. This will point into the index of the array where the value is stored. So if that happens, we need to pull that information from that index. So for example, if our exist is five, we're going to look into the graph timing five position and take the time from that five position and add our new time that we want to add into that array. So that's gonna be all stored in a temporary time um, variable. Once that temporary time variable has a correct value, we're just going to overwrite the existing value by taking again the same um, index. So it's, for example, the fifth index in the time graph and writing a new var value. And do maths isn't um, necessary here. I think I just cloned the uh, stuff and uh, forgot to update it. So, when this is done, our position gets updated and we can uh, run our array again uh, and populate the graph. So I've been connected to Wi-Fi for some time, so let's dis disconnect from the Wi-Fi again. Uh, Tasker will do its own thing and update the graph and you'll see uh, completely different values right now in the graph. So right now I've got 72.4, last time was 71.1 and 27.6. As you can see, that's working correctly. As usual, guys, you'll find the, in the description a link to my article so you can read about it more at your own pace. You'll also find a link to files and uh, all necessary information to recreate this tutorial. Uh, now, I'm testing a new feature, well, a new way, basically, of sharing the information previously. Uh, tutorials like this were available three days earlier to my Patreon supporters. Uh, right now I'm releasing at the same time to everyone 
with the small exception that uh, all the ready-made files are available to Patreon uh, supporters only for the first three days and later on become public and uh, accessible to all of you guys. So I'll see um, how's that working for you and uh, do let me know in the comments uh, how do you find this feature, uh, whether it's a uh, move in the right direction or not. Anyway, thanks so much for uh, watching and for your support guys and uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, bye. A pie child, bye. A pie child of there. A pie child, pie child, pie child. <laughs>